The MoMA Ultra Proximal Cerebral Protection Device is a novel device designed to contain and remove all sizes of debris that can dislodge during interventional procedures in the carotid arteries. The MoMA Ultra device has a double occlusion balloon system which allows for proximal embolic protection to be established prior to crossing a carotid lesion. This device is indicated in patients with recent symptoms who often have complicated plaques with variable degrees of ulceration, intraplaque hemorrhage, and or superimposed clot. Additionally, this, the device is also useful in situations where crossing the stenosis can be hazardous and or challenging with distal protection devices, as in cases of patients with near occlusion or distal ICA tortuosity. This device is limited by 1. The presence of an unfavorable femoral artery, as the MoMA catheter requires a 9 French sheath. 2. The presence of a tortuous aortic arch. 3. Small or non-present external carotid artery. And or 4. The presence of a contralateral internal carotid artery occlusion. In this illustrative video, we present two cases in which this novel device was utilized successfully during carotid stenting. Femoral artery access was obtained with a 9 French sheath, and the procedures were done under conscious sedation. A 76-year-old man presented to the hospital with TIA symptoms, including right arm and leg weakness and vision change. CT of the head was negative for any acute lesions. T2 flare MR imaging shows a chronic cerebral vasculopathy. DWI MR imaging is negative for any acute lesions. 3D MRA demonstrates 90% stenosis of the proximal right ICA. 3D MRA also demonstrates a common carotid artery stenosis and 99% left ICA stenosis. These findings are confirmed with injection of the right common carotid artery and left common carotid artery. The distal aspect of the MoMA device is positioned within the distal portion of the left external carotid artery. The common carotid artery balloon is inflated. The external carotid artery balloon is inflated. And the stenosis in the internal carotid artery is then crossed with a micro guide wire. An angioplasty balloon is navigated through the carotid stenosis and inflated under flow arrest. A carotid stent is then navigated through the carotid stenosis and deployed under flow arrest from distal to proximal. After the stent is deployed and while still under flow arrest, through the MoMA catheter, we aspirate 10 to 15 cc's of blood and look in it for debris. Once we see no debris, we then deflate the balloons with the external first and the common second. We do this to prevent any debris from going intracranial once the flow is reestablished. Final control angiography demonstrates reestablishment of flow through the stented internal carotid artery. A 59-year-old female presented to the emergency department with stroke-like symptoms. CT of the head was negative for any acute lesions. CTA and 3D CTA demonstrates greater than 90% stenosis of the proximal right internal carotid artery. The left internal carotid artery is patent with some degree of calcification at the bifurcation. Injection of the right common carotid artery in AP and lateral. A microcatheter is advanced over a guide wire into the external carotid artery.
The MoMA device is positioned in the distal portion of the right external carotid artery. The balloon in the common carotid artery is inflated. and then the balloon in the external carotid artery is inflated. The guide wire is then advanced through the internal carotid artery occlusion and access to the distal internal carotid artery is obtained. Angioplasty is performed and a stent is navigated through the occlusion and deployed. After the stent is deployed and while still under flow arrest, through the MoMA catheter we aspirate 10 to 15 cc's of blood and look in it for debris. Once we see no debris, we then deflate the balloons with the external first and the common second. We do this to prevent any debris from going intracranial once the flow is reestablished. Final control angiography demonstrates patency of the stent and re-establishment of flow into the distal internal carotid artery.